What's up guys? All right, so this you see here is the canal that we irrigate the uh, trees around here, the orchards. Those right there are almonds. These right here are walnuts. And we flood the whole orchard and that's how you water them. And this is where the water comes from. For some of you guys that are curious. And the water goes down. And fills up the whole orchard right over there. So now you guys know how this works. And uh, it goes way back there. And that's how a lot of the orchards uh, are irrigated. I'll show you guys the almond. So these are almonds. This property does have a drip system. That's how they get uh, watered. We were running, we were having some drought going on in California, shortage on the water. So then it became almost mandatory to have a drip system. But for some people, it was okay. So that's how that works. All right, so that was the 411 on uh, how you water the trees, if you guys didn't know. See, these trees don't have a drip system. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom. There's no water lines or water hoses or anything. So this property here gets flooded with water. And these are walnuts. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right there. Really good for you. You should eat you should eat a lot of walnuts and almonds. Almond almond milk. All good stuff for your body. Really healthy. Okay, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering what happened to the contest. One guy came really close to, uh, well not really close, he actually was exactly right on uh, what was going to happen to the point where I thought this guy might know me or a friend of mine. His name is, uh, he's one of the subscribers, John Norris if I'm not mistaken. He predicted exactly what was going to happen, which, which, which was really surprising. I was like, oh my god, how did he figure it out? He must know a friend of mine, which I told him, but uh, he actually did a little bit of research. Uh, anyway. I'm sure there was a couple other people I haven't gone through the list to see who won but uh, John got three out of three right um, I will email him later uh, to get his info and, uh, and I'll read I'll start from the bottom and I'll work my way up to see who were the top three or four people a lot of people predicted it was gonna be more than what uh, it, it went through so uh, that was really surprising no one everyone thought it was gonna be over 10 7 8 but uh, and then I'm being around um, three, four. So I'll go through the list and I'll see who were the top three or five people that guessed it right, two out of three. I know John was one of them. So, uh, and then we'll go from there. I haven't had a chance to go through them, sorry about that. I'll try to make the time to do it. All right, let's get to the table and see what we're gonna shoot today. All right, guys, so one of my subscribers named Randall, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. Is it Albridge, uh, Yulbridge? Um, forgive me, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, he requested for me to shoot sheet metal. Uh, thanks to a very good friend of mine named Rocky, uh, he wanted a shout out. He cut out these uh, sheet metals for me, 24 gauge uh, sheet metals. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're pretty thin. Um, they're 24 gauge and I lined up 25 of them back here as you can see 
and I want to see how many sheet metals will it take to stop a 9mm. However, I also might do it with a, a 22 long rifle in a different video and just to kind of compare and see what happens. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, my estimate from from my aluminum casing uh, MacBook Pros, uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say between, I don't know, seven to 10, uh, it'll stop it, but uh, let's find out. All right, let's get to it. All right, you guys are ready? I'm using a Glock 19. 9 millimeter full metal jacket, 115 grain. Can you guys see that? All right, let's find out. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It stopped on the tenth one. It bent the. Uh, it actually ripped it a little bit. But it did not. It kind of uh, made a little rip in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But it did not come out. All right. And here's our bullet. It's all silver plated <laughs> from all the uh, sheet metal. Can you guys see that? I think what happened is the sheet metal kind of uh, got melted right into the bullet. How cool is that? And those are the exits. So it took 10 24 gauge uh, sheet metal to stop a 9 millimeter. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And on the next video, we'll find out how many it takes to stop a 22 long rifle. I'll see you guys next time.